we will be looking at shed with versus shed among. All right. So I want you to have a look at these two questions first, okay? Before we talk about the difference between these two, okay? So Judy has 20 sweets. She shares them equally with her four sisters. How many sweets does she does each of them get? And then this question here. Judy has 20 sweets. She shares them equally among her four sisters. So how many sweets does each of them get? Ah, some of you must be like wondering like, Mrs. Poa, aren't they the same question? Aren't they the same? Like they are the same, right? Okay, actually if you look carefully, these two questions are not the same. Can you help me to spot it? Like what is the biggest difference between these two questions here? Yes? Ah, some of you are very sharp, right? You notice that, oh, Mrs. Poa, I noticed that, right? Here says, shares them equally with, okay, shares with, whereas this one is shares them equally among her four sisters, among, right, yes, you are right, that, that's the biggest bit, uh, difference here, it says shares with, okay, versus shares among, so what is the difference here, okay, now I'm going to show you this, okay, every time, each time, when you see this shares with, okay, you must remember that, okay, it has to include um, the person whoever is giving or sharing. Okay, meaning to say that for this particular question here, okay, you need to include Judy. Because Judy is giving, right? She's sharing, right? So when I share, when she's sharing, she's sharing with her four sisters. Okay, so that means this is Judy. Okay, so she's giving out the sweets to her four sisters, right? Okay, so just remember that whenever you see shares with, you must include the person whoever is giving or sharing with. So meaning that, okay, you have to you have to include Judy. That means how many people are there now? There will be five of them, including Judy. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's why you get this is the twenty, is so what total number of sweets, right? Divided by the number of people. Okay? So how many people are there? There are five of them, including Judy. So, so just remember this. Share with always include the person, whoever is giving or sharing. Okay? All right? So is, that means you get four, right? Five times four is 20. So each of them gets four sweets. Okay? Understand? So just remember this. Share with include. Always include. Okay? So remember, share with include. Can I, maybe you can you do like this, S-W-I. Is it easier like that? Share with I. I means what? Including the person whoever is giving or sharing. Okay, so S-W-I. Can? Okay, now what about this one, among? Is it the same as share with? That means what? Among meaning that I also need to include Judy? Okay, for this is slightly different. Why? Because over here it says shares them among her four sisters. Okay? So I bought the sweets. Okay, let's say I'm Judy. I'm Judy here. So I'm Judy. I bought the sweets. Okay, I give to them. Now, you take it. Okay? I want you to share among the four of you. Okay? So meaning to say that, does it include Judy, me, here? No, right? It doesn't include. That means I bought, I buy, but I give to them. Now, I throw to you. Catch. Okay, so now, there are 20 sweets there. Go, 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 go and share among the four of you. Ah, this is what they're trying to say. So that means it looks like this. So one, two, three, four. Right? So you're sharing among the four sisters. I just buy, but I'm not included. Okay? I buy only. Okay? But I throw to you, you share among yourself. Understand? So whenever you see share with, okay, you just need to remember that you are not included, okay, among her four sisters. So whenever you see among, you just take this number. That means only four of them. Okay, let's say among her five sisters, five of them. Among her seven sisters, just seven. Okay, so you don't need to include Judy anymore because she's only in charge of buying. Throw, then you'll share yourself, okay? Share among yourself. Understand? Okay, so in, th in this case here, you do, you do not need to include Judy, which is 20 divided by 4. Why only 4? Because only 4 sisters, right? Remember, I bought the sweets, I threw to, I threw the, I threw to them, and then the 4 of them 
they were sharing among themselves. So meaning that each of them will get five sweets. Okay, so the four sisters over there, oh, you have five sweets, five sweets, five sweets, five sweets. Okay, but whereas for share with, you must include Judy. Okay, remember, S-W-I. So share with including. Okay, including the person whoever is, you know, buying or giving whatever. Okay, must include. Okay, so in this case here, you see it's slightly different, right? Isn't it? Now, there are five people, including Judy. So four sisters plus Judy, five people. So you see, each of them get five, uh, sorry, four sweets. So you see that even though the questions look so similar, right? Shared with, shared among, but do you notice that they are actually all different? Okay, they are different. You see the final answer, here are four sweets and here are five sweets. So just remember this, okay? For share with, just remember SWI, including. So share with, including the person. Okay, share among, just take whatever the numbers at the back over here. Shares among, her seven shares among 100. Okay, so it means 100 people. Understand? Okay? Mm -hmm.